Hi guys, I'm Shin. Today I'm gonna be going over the liquify tool, which is something I use a lot in, well, I use it all the time in all my pictures. It's amazing and you will soon find out why. So just let's get started. First of all, make sure you make a copy of your layer. In case you mess up, you can always go back to your original layer and just restart. So by doing that, you grab the layer you have and drag it down to this place and drop and you have a new layer. Then you will go into filter liquify and then just zoom in on your face. I'm just doing a general um, picture like I would blog it so I don't I won't be editing too much just to fix like the edges you see here and the mouth is a bit boring and there and so on. So let's start off by grabbing the pucker tool and I'm got it pretty small right now because I have a really big picture. So about 35 is alright to get started now. So yeah. Trace around the edges you want to smooth out like this. If you get any harsh shadows or anything, I'm gonna fix that later on. Right now I just want to shape it. Cause I can like really hates my nose and always gives me bad shadows. So yeah. That's alright. Like this and this I'm gonna fix after this. Now I just have a nice smooth shape. Then I'm gonna go up and use the warp tool, the first one, same size. And I'm gonna shape the mouth a bit, because right now it's just straight and boring. So I'll just, like I always do with all my pictures, just drag this bit down a little bit, like this. Now that's too much and doesn't look good at all, but here's how to fix that. I'll use the pucker tool again, and I just go over this area and it's gonna look a whole lot better and then just follow around the edges all around the lips like that and then I'll zoom out to 100% and check. Alright, the lips are good, I think. I'll see, there is a harsh edge. I'm gonna fix that just by bumping it in a bit. And I also know up here and there. I'll fix this. I'll zoom back out to 100% is better and I know the second life really doesn't like shoulders either so I'm gonna go fix them. So grab the warp tool again, make it a bit bigger, about 55 now and just smooth out these edges. Like this. That should be good enough, so let's zoom out and check. That's alright. I'm gonna probably crop these so I won't bother with this area too much. It's mainly the face I'm focus focusing on right now. But I think your face looks pretty good. I can probably fix the air a little bit. So grab the warp tool again, make it smaller. Like that. And yeah, this I'll just smooth a little bit more. And I'd say that's good enough to start editing. So let's hit OK. And here's what it is now. And the reason why you will always want to duplicate your layers is so you can compare 
see what you have done and if you really hate it you can just delete that layer and you won't have damaged your original picture so just compare now to before and after that's a lot better and it's a great start like I said I always use liquify for all my pictures and I will usually go back and forth editing adding highlights and blurring and stuff like that then I go back into liquify maybe spreading out some more edges because I always always find errors in my pictures after a while so I'll always go back and fix them but yeah that's about I think it's a good start to liquify so yeah let's start with that then I'll move on to blurring and masking and more layers and things like that